What is up beautiful people? It's your girl Cam and I am back with another video. Today I'm coming at you with my war binder setup for the first quarter of 2022. And I am super excited to be working in this planner um, because this is the cover that I love so so much from Spoonful of Faith. And I just love this cover and I'm so excited to finally be using it. And so I'm going to set up my uh, the four sections of my war binder, which are uh, sermon notes, scripture writing, prayer, and Bible study. So those are the four sections that I'm going to set up today. And the only thing I'm not going to be able to show you is my scripture writing plan for the year because there's something going on with my printer and I need to speak to somebody in customer service and of course they're closed because it's the new year so I'll have to talk to them on um, Monday or Tuesday and so I won't be able to show you the plan that I'm using well I may be able to insert a picture of the one that I'm using and if I can I'll insert it here if not I will show you the um, scripture writing plan that I'm using on Instagram Okay, so if this is your first time visiting my channel, welcome. My name is Cam. This is Peace of the Plans, and I do hope you find something on this channel that inspires you. If you do, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I post new content right here for you. If you are already a part of the fam, thank you so, so much for coming back. If you want to see how I set up my war binder for a brand new year, just stay right there. thing I want to do is I want to set up my monthly view pages. Let me go ahead and pull these out. So I'm going to use these monthly pages the same way I did in my previous setup. And if you're new here, that is to write down a brief um, statement about um, how the scripture that I'm writing for the day applies to my life. So I do scripture writing every day. And after I finish reading that scripture, or at some point during the week, I come over to this monthly view section and I write down... Um, how the scripture applies to me, how it applies to my life, <clears throat> like that. So um, I want to decorate this. So I decorate this page, but I don't go too heavy on it because, um, you know, I want to make sure I leave space each day to write down. It's just one sentence. Okay, so these are some of the stickers I'm considering. Um, these are not necessarily Christmas. They're still kind of wintry winter-ish. I'm considering those. Also these, these are from Live Love Posh. I'm thinking about these. But I think I'm going to go with the pink ones. I think those are speaking to me the most. I think I may save the rest of these to decorate my um, my prayer journal pages. Okay, so let's go with this first set that I pulled out. Let's go with that because it's very wintry and very pretty. And I purchased some um, winter type dolls from Capital Chic. And I have not hauled these yet. <laughs> it's just been a crazy schedule, y'all. It's been crazy. But um, yeah, I want to add one of these girls to the sidebar. She would be cute. 
Yes, come on, New Year, with you too. I think I'm going to go with her. She's very cute. Let me see if one of these wintry girls says something else. Um, okay, let me, let me show you the girls. <laughs> let me do that. Okay, so here is Tegan from Capital Chic. I think she's the winner, though. This is True from Capital Chic. All of these are from Capital Chic, okay? Tiana. She is super cute. Uh, Tania. Tiffany. I've had this doll before. Um, this is the Winter Coat Collection. So this is Winter Coat 2. I think I've had this before, too. She wouldn't be bad with the situation either. She may be a runner-up. And then we have Winter Coat 1 who also would go with the situation I think. And then I got some guys. Um, here is Akeem. I got these for my sons and my husband to celebrate their birthdays. Nasir. Malachi who is extra handsome. <laughs> and then we got the pillow challenge who I thought would be cute for like Valentine's Day I thought she would be cute for that and then here's Ursula I just grabbed her because I didn't want her to sell out and I didn't get it for like Halloween next year so I just grabbed that okay I'm thinking that my two contenders are Tegan and winter coat 2 let's see here I mean, Winter Coat 2 is kind of going with the whole wintry vibe, right? But then Tegan has on this teal that is just popping. And she could be going to a church event. I mean, her thigh-high boots is kind of extra. <laughs> but she could be going to a like a Saturday morning um, women's uh, prayer group. But, you know, we're doing Zoom now. So, so, <laughs> We're doing Zoom now, so she's getting cute for the Zoom. <laughs> That's what we're going to say. All right, Tegan, you won. You won, Tegan. You won. All right, so here's what we're going to do. I think I'm just going to um, decorate these little boxes up top because all of these boxes are not part of the month. And then I think I might put a little bit down the side here, and then we're going to add Tegan, and then we're going to call it done. And I may use these same stickers in my first week spread and then we may be able to pull the winter coat girl in to that how about that okay so let me grab some scissors here and we're gonna get going and what I normally do is I just um, cut these stickers in half Just kind of line them up at the top here. Whatever little space I have available. Just kind of make it look like it's sitting inside this box here. Ooh, that is too cute. Too cute. Okay. And we'll do something here with the pine cones. Oh, I don't want to cut that bottom part off. I think I'll cut the top this time. Because that bottom part is super cute. There we go. We'll use that and see what else we want to add we have got this little candle that says winter cozy that's cute maybe I can put that in this last little section on the side we'll see if that'll fit on the side over here Try not to cut too much of it off. And 
and see if it'll fit right there. Yep, I love that. It looks really, really good. Now, um, I kind of regret how I cut this. <laughs> now that I'm looking at it, I kind of regret how I cut that. So I may take that up because I have another sticker just like that. You know how you think something is going to look good and then you do it and it doesn't look good? Yeah, that's what happened here. <laughs> that is what happened here. It did not look like I thought it was going to look. So we're just going to pull it up. Not a problem. And I'm just going to cut this bottom part. Now we're going to try this again. Yeah, that looks much, much better. Now we've got that top portion worked out. And I'm going to grab my um, planner bestie, Larissa, gave me some um, quotes. Y'all know how I love to add quotes into my um, scripture writing pages. She gave me some quotes. I just want to incorporate them because they're so awesome. So let's see. We got some good ones here. If God is for us, who can be against us? What? Romans 8.31 <sighs> The Lord is my light and my salvation. Live well, laugh often, love much. That's not a scripture, but you know it's a good saying. The sweetness of a friend. When I count my blessings, I count you twice. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. For God so loved the world. Oh my goodness, all these are so good. For nothing is impossible with God. What? Nothing is impossible with God. Blessed. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. Yes, honey. Ooh, I love all of these. Okay, but what I'm trying to find is something good that will fit in this little sidebar section. And then we can add um, Tegan down here at the bottom. So let's see. That was the first page. Then we've got, these are in gold. So I'm not going to go with these because I want to do either black or something silver. Then we've got walk in faith. That's a good one. Blessed be the Lord. Be joyful in hope. God is love. His love endures forever. The Lord, bless the Lord and, wait, 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 wait. The Lord bless you and keep you. Okay, I was reading it wrong. The Lord bless you and keep you. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. The Lord is my shepherd and all shall praise his name. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love endures forever. Ooh, I like that. And I like the fact that it's long. That's good. Um, faith love and hope rejoice oh goodness um okay so I really like if God is for us who can be against us I love that and I also love walk in faith because you know we're starting a new year so we want to um, you know get our focus together for the year I think I'm going to do if God is for us, who can be against us. I think I want to go with that. That's that's powerful right there. We're going we're going to just start 22 off with a bang. Okay, that's what we're going to do. And what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to cut this up, but that is not a problem. We're just going to trim it so it will fit in the space where we need it to go. Okay. So we're going to start off if God is for us. Oh. Okay, so I was trying to go with the teal, but I didn't like how it was looking, so we switched to the black, and I like that a lot better. 
So we're going to go with that. And let me see if there's anything else I want to add before I put our girl Tegan in here. So I do have this little art splash. And I think I'm going to put that down in the bottom corner here as something for her to kind of stand on. So we'll add that. And then we'll just cut off the excess. And then I will add in our doll on this side. Okay. Stickers are not being nice today. The stickers are not being nice. Okay. I haven't used a capital chic doll in a while and as I'm pulling it off the paper I am reminded that <laughs> these are the kind of dolls that once you put her down she is down so I need to be very very careful about where I place her because yeah she's not the kind of doll that she can lift up okay so let's put her right here and we are good to go all right so that's going to do it for me for the monthly spread we've got a little bit of deco got a good quote on the side and we've got all of our empty spaces to write in just our one statement about um, how the scripture applies to my life okay now let's go on to the sermon notes So what I could do is I could use um, more space for sermon notes. I could do that because I don't need all of this because this was in my, I don't need the 27th through the 31st because that was in my previous setup. You know what I mean? That was last year. So I think I may make this space available for more sermon notes. like more points from the sermon. I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so let's start by putting down what I know I want to use, which is, I like this. I'm going to hit this corner down here.
Now, all of this section, all of this will be sermon notes. And then these two will be actual scriptures for the scripture writing plan. Okay? So, whew, now that we've got that done, let's go to the next week. Try to do this super quick. Okay, so I pulled in some um, headers from the Wrong Wrong Heels and Hustle planner sticker book. There are lots of really good functional stickers in here. And this is where I got the headers from, right here in the front. Okay, so now that I've got that all set up, we are done with the sermon notes and scripture writing section. Let me go ahead and put it back in the planner. Here we go. One last thing I want to do before I end this video. My planner friend Larissa gave me these beautiful dashboards that I do want to add to my um, setup. So let me go ahead and punch these and put them up front because they are gorgeous. And I think I'm going to add this one with the peace sign right here in the front and then I think I may put this one um either I'll put it a few months back because this is only going to be for the first quarter so let me let me punch this and then I'll talk to you about how I have this set up okay so I'm gonna add the peace sign girl right here in the front for January oh that is so pretty <sighs> Oh my goodness, I love that so much. And then we'll put the other girl, maybe we'll put her at the beginning of March. It looks like she's in her prayer posture. She's got a candle behind her that says love. I love that. Okay, so let's talk about how this war binder is set up super quick. And then we're going to wrap this video up. So um, because I have so many pieces in here, I can only get a few months at a time. So the first section that you saw me set up today was my scripture writing section. And so I have got my cute little intro page, my intro dashboard, gorgeous, and then speak good things to yourself. And then the monthly setup, which I do use to write down just a summary of this verse for the day. Then I've got my sermon notes that go on the left. I'm going to put more sermon notes here because these are days from last year. And then I'll put the scripture, the scripture reference here in the top and then the actual scripture itself here in the section. And I'll do the same thing for the week that's coming up, the week of the third. Okay? So my sermon notes will probably go here for today. And then I'll put in my sermon notes from last week, maybe here. I don't know because I've already documented those in my other planner so 
we'll see. We'll see what I do with that section. But my sermon notes for today will go here and then we'll go into this week. Now, this is going to repeat this whole section's. Oh, I love this picture. This whole section is going to repeat for February. All the sections there. And then for March. And then also for April. Okay, the same thing will happen monthly and then scripture writing, sermon notes. Okay, then we go into the prayer section, which starts again with January because I want to be in prayer at the beginning of the year and I want to document my prayers and keep everything all in this one journal, in this one war binder. So for this section, I have got an old monthly view from a different planner that I just came in and I took some white out and I whited out the year. I think this was 20, it was either 2019 or 2020. I think it was 2020. I whited that out. I whited out all of the dates. So I need to come in here and um, date this section. Okay, so for January, I'm going to use this 31 days of prayer for women. It came from the Daily Grace. I haven't even opened it. <laughs> but I'm going to use this to guide my prayers for the month of January. I bought um, Larissa a set of these as well for Christmas. And I haven't even looked at them. So let's just see what it says. 31 days of prayer for women. That's the cover. And then it has day one. Pray for your loved ones. So it says Mark 12, 30. Through 31 love for God leads to love for neighbors your family members are your neighbors pray for a family member or a friend in need pray for love and peace to grow in their home and in the lives of their loved ones pray that your loved ones would find their hope in Christ alone and that this hope would give them boldness in sharing the gospel and living for the glory of God Ooh, that's so good that's day one and then day two um, says pray about anxiety. Colossians 3.15 Bring your anxiety, worries, depression, and frustrations before the Lord. Ask for the peace of Christ to rule in your mind and heart. Pray that the Lord will transform your mind and conform your thoughts to please Him. Ask the Lord for freedom from your fears and troubles. Ask Him to renew your faith in His sovereignty and good care for you. When I say that's good, <laughs> that's all right with me. So I'm not going to even look through all of these. I'm going to let these just surprise me each day. And I'm going to just um, go with these prayer cards. And you you know, you know, can use these over and over again. Like if I, I want to do this again in June or July, I can shuffle the cards up and switch the days around. Or, or I can just go straight through day 1 through 31. You can never have enough prayer. You can never pray for people enough. You can never pray for people too much is what I should say. So I'm going to use that um, to guide my prayers for um, the first month of the year. And I don't see any date numbers right this second, but I know I've got some around here somewhere. So I will date this. And then what I want to do now is I want to add in some pages to actually document my prayers. And y'all, it was so hard to find this insert paper. Like, it's not on the Happy Planner website. At least I didn't see it. I didn't see it online at any of the stores. But when I went inside Joann's, it was there on the shelf. But it wasn't showing up online. So, there's that. <laughs> but I did want to add some of this um, note paper. And this is my favorite, just basic note paper from Happy Planner. It's got um, dot grid. I think half of the pack is dot grid and half of the pack is lined. So um, I think I want to use the dot grid for my prayers. So I don't think I'm going to need this many sheets. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll do about six pages. And we'll let this be my prayer section for January. And then, like I said, this was an old um, set from my planner. Um, I got duplicate planners sent to me because this planner 
this was the the neutral happy planner it was damaged when I received it when I received it so they kept sending me copies of it until they got it right <laughs> thank God for that but subsequently you know some of the pages were not damaged a lot of them were but some of the pages were not damaged and so the ones that are not damaged I'm able to use them now in this setup so I'm just going through each month and I'm just adding a few pages for um, me to document my prayers and I will come back and add the um, the flowers and deco to the spine so that's March and then we'll do April wait I put that in the wrong section <laughs> wait a minute uh, what hold on I put that right in the middle of the month y'all <laughs> now y'all like what are you doing what are you doing okay here we go this is where it goes I was flipping and I was like, what? What just happened? Okay, and then April. And I'll put these last few lined sheets here in April. And then that's all we're going to do in terms of the month by month. Now, this is the rest of my current planner like this is the new um, spoonful of faith planner I'm going to take these sections out May through the end of the year because I don't need this in here right now what I want to put in here are my uh, oh these dividers are so pretty I'm going to add my um, Bible study notes here in the back so let me go ahead and take this out and the next time I show you this planner, I will have my little dividers all set up and ready to go. Now that's what I could do. I could use that girl that looks like she's praying. I could use her as my prayer section divider. How about that? That's probably probably why Larissa gave it to me. You think? <laughs> Let me put her back here where it says prayer. Well, it doesn't say prayer, but I'm going to make it say prayer. Let me add her back here to this prayer section. And uh, then we'll create something for Bible study. What is this? This is. Is this the same thing? I don't know. Okay. Okay, I get it. These are supposed to be my prayer sections. This is from that old planner as well. But it only went through June. So this goes with this section. And then these pieces go together. I get it now. Alright, but that gives me a good start. I feel like I was kind of all over the place today, y'all. But it's going gonna, it's gonna to all come together. It's going to come together very quickly. It's just the beginning of the year, getting all your planners set up. You know, it takes a minute to get everything like you want it. So, fear not, we will get it together. So, thank you so much for joining me for this video, y'all. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. If you are not already subscribed, I hope that you will take a moment and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I post new content right here for you. If you're already a part of the fam, thank you so, so much for coming back. And I hope that you all are having a great start to your new year. And I hope that your new year is going to be full of wonderful time spent with God and His Word. Um, I hope that you'll get to spend some time doing some prayer and some Bible study. And if you are a person that enjoys scripture writing, I hope that you will spend some time this year um, documenting, documenting your scripture writing journey as well. So have a great week. I hope your week is full of love, joy, and most of all, peace. I'll see you next time.